Hello viewers. Welcome to another episode of Jammer Inform. In my last video, I have shown how to use labels. Today, I'm gonna show how to use entries. I'm gonna create new page for discuss about entries. Let's create a new page. Select content page. And give the name of this page entries. Okay. For create a text box, we have to take an entry tag. Just change the text as as per help and change the startup page. Okay, let's run this application. Okay, that's good. This is the text box. Here we can write anything. We can change some properties. Take another entry. We can change it as read only. We can change it as read only would. So we can add a placeholder. And we can change placeholder color. Set max length for password. We can use this text box. We have to change some properties. Is password it's true or false? Okay, let's run this application. The second text box is read only. You cannot write here. And the third text box this placeholder is color is red and here max length 15 we write the password and we can use Entry with return type. Source. Let's run this application. Let's see what happened if we use return type. Look this button and look the different if we use return type search this button changes into a search icon and we can click to search and if we don't use this 
it's not change this icon you can access this control from code behind page for that you have to give a name of your control i will use a name its name you can change text of this text box from the code behind page Also, we can use entry completed event. If we press F twelve, it's we can go into this event. I will take another text box. Text change. Take a level. If I write here, no chance. If we click this button, will. So after completed the text, we will find the output here. If we write here instantly, suppose. will find so this is the process that we can use entries in my next video i am going to show how to use button in german forms thanks for watching my videos and if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel thank you